viewers, this is Brandon Dukes, BD Custom Guitars coming to you with the next part in the stained Stratocaster build. As you guys can see, the paint is stripped off the body. The front face of the headstock. This neck is the neck off of the red and common fiber Stratocaster that I built for my little brother for Christmas. I realized that this neck has a 53 millimeter heel, right? And the neck pocket on his Strat is a 56, 57 ish millimeter neck pocket. So, what I did is I took the guitar back, explained to him that I'm going to get him a new neck, and I let him pick out a neck, whether he wanted a maple, rosewood, or ebony fretboard. And he chose one with a rosewood fretboard and a abalone dots, so that's in, in the mail on its way here. I'll put that neck on his strat once it comes and give it to him. For this thing, like I said, 53 mil, 53 mil. Now that it's stripped, the paint stripped, I used a heat gun. It works pretty well. Did leave some chips and stuff, so I had to re glue some of those chips back in. It's my first time. Hopefully, next time it'll come out better. I'm not worried about black paint in there. I'll chip off as much as I can and then I'll just leave it because I might coat in there with the shielding paint anyways. That doesn't matter. Same back here. I'm going to coat inside here with shielding paint. So the black around the edges doesn't really matter. Just a bit left. So now all I have to do is go over it a little bit more with uh, 80 grit, 100 grit, 120, 200, 320. Basically, keep going up till it's nice and smooth, and then get it ready for stain. All right, thanks for watching, guys. If you have subscri subscribed already, please do, and also please vote for the color that you want. Whether you want the body to be green or colonial maple stained, and whether you want the pickguard to be red with white accessories or purple with black accessories. All right, see you guys next time.